topics and opinions expressed in the following show are solely those of the hosts and their guests and not those of W4CY Radio, its employees, or affiliates. We make no recommendations or endorsements for radio show programs, services, or products mentioned on air or on our web. No liability, explicit or implied, shall be extended to W4CY Radio or its employees or affiliates. Any questions or comments should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for choosing W4CY Radio. Welcome to Mindset Marketing Mastery, the show that brings you the top speakers in the marketing and video industry, with your host, Marie Mason. Oh, I love that tune. Okay. <laughs> I always crack up. I mean, every week I'm like... Get- I know, you're dancing and bopping and discoing to the beat of the jingle. I know, it's catchy. <laughs> Yeah, it's got to be catchy, you know, otherwise people aren't going to recognize you, right? That's all marketing. <laughs> so anyway. Marketing, so, which is what we're, we're gonna, talking about. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Marketing Mindset Mastery Radio Show with myself, Marie Mason, the host, and our, my lovely and talented co-host, Cheryl Bernstein. That would be Oh, me. we have some fun and surprises today. We do? So, yep, we do. Well, okay. I don't have the link yet for... The merchandise yet that's coming on the 50th show we're waiting for the swag yes the swag is coming i have somebody helping me with the, the little tweaking a few things so we got to get that and we'll get that link to you guys in a couple weeks and i'm excited to launch it and uh that's very I'm, fun i'm going to be ordering a surprise for cheryl a surprise for moi and you're gonna have to sit there and tell me some details later after the show <laughs> Because I don't want to sit there and reveal everything on the show. Uh-oh. So anyway, so yeah, yeah. So you and I will have to talk afterwards. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, no, no, nothing. Not, it's a good surprise. So oh, anyway, okay, good. Okay, good, good, right, good surprise. And it, it, but, it, <laughs> but I mean, I don't want to have to sit there and have you reveal like certain secrets of your life. You know, there's some things that we have to keep, you know, hidden. <laughs> you know, keep things spicy. So what anyway. Is she, what is she going to ask? Oh. Stay tuned as we find what Marie is going to ask Cheryl. Oh, yeah, that might be at the very end of the show. But anyway, like I said, that might have to wait till after everyone leaves the show. All right. It's just you and me. So because anyway, today we're talking about marketing yeah. strategy. Oh, and tactics. And marketing tactics. Yeah. And I'm very curious to know what is the difference when we get uh, into it. Well, we're going to actually going to tag team you and I, okay? So I, I kind of put this one together on the fly because you ever had those mental biting blocks? And you just are like, what am I going to say? <laughs> Moments. I don't know if anyone can. It like. happens. It ha- especially if you write a lot. You know, you write yeah. a lot and you write a lot. You're like, I think I've already said everything I could say. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> said and it all. Talk- and for us talking to people, that's uncommon, but it does happen. So we do have these writing block moments. I had one this week and I also was swamped with client work and trying to get bunch of stuff going from my business strategy because I'm actually piecing together the content to put on my new CRM program, um, which I had a little training on this week. So I'm excited about that. So now I got to get that all together. So I'm juggling all this. And in the last and at the very 11th hour, I two or th- two hours before the show, I finally got everything figured out what I wanted to say for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a deadline. Nothing like a deadline to make it happen. Oh, yeah. And I know with you, we can just little roll just about anything. <laughs> so I'm like, this is going to be good. <laughs> That'll be great. Yep. It'll yep. be great. I, I, had know epiphany. You, you know. I had an epiphany about it. So my epiphany is there's a lot of confusion between what a marketing strategy is and what a marketing tactic is. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, I don't know if you've got Well, that. I don't even know... <laughs> myself you're going to be informing me about what i'm supposed to be talking about because i don't know the i was like okay a strategy this i'm going to make a guess i'm going to make a guess that a strategy is more uh, an educated guess strategy is more long-term thought out over over a period of time taking you from one place to the next to the to your end result a tactic would be a one-time thing that you do like one time is that maybe? Maybe. It? <laughs> kind of, sort of. Uh, Go sit it, in the it, back, Cheryl. Go it, sit in the back. No, no, no. You're you not sitting it. in the back. You're the type of people like me who needs to be in the spotlight. What can we say? I don't so, know. 
didn't no, get we're, just, it. we're spotlight people. We, we don't need to be sitting in the backstage. So anyway, I'm just saying. <laughs> so um, just I've known you long enough to sit there and say that, honestly. So basically what it is, is most people confuse the difference between a tactic and a um, strategy pretty much. Because let's say a tactic is like sharing a newsletter or a freebie or or going on a webinar to share your information and educate your audience and get them to your next destination. Um, and a strategy, here's what a strategy, and I can, we can go into more details about a strategy. A strategy, I am lost my place. Have you ever had moments where you just lose your place and thought, I don't know, I'm having it's one of those Marie. Places. It's a Marie moment. It's Marie. <laughs> It's a Marie moment. We're going to leave it alone with that. I am not calling it anything else because I'm not claiming that nonsense. But anyway, it's a Marie moment. Um, so basically, um, I'm trying to think. Of, I'm trying to find my place, Cheryl. Oh, let me see if I can help. Let me I'm, see if I can help you. Oh, I really wrote this up in the fly. So I know. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember. Okay. Well, so we'll see, um, we'll see. Ap hmm? after the red part. After the red part. Okay, gotcha. Good deal. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I really did lose my place. So um, the difference between a marketing strategy versus a marketing tactic. Okay, so let's face it. Marketing is a growing industry today, and it's really here to stay. Um, it is in digital marketing especially, right? But we're going to focus more on just marketing in general. So, um, the so this could be something you use online, offline. Anywhere. You've got a brick and mortar, you, yep. whatever. It yep. doesn't matter what industry you're in, marketing is here to stay. It's been around for, since the ages and the dawn of time, and it will never leave the earth. It is going to be ongoing. And actually, I encourage you to have an ongoing marketing plan, to be quite honest, um, just because it's what helps our business grow, right? So the answer, um, difference between tactics. Okay, so um, excuse my French there, um, burping. So Didn't kinda, hear it. No, I, well, that's a good thing because <laughs> I did and I was until waiting. You, until you said. <laughs> hey, we're live, we're <laughs> candid on air. We, we, we were about as authentic and real as you could get. So, <laughs> uh, and, and you like it or you love it or you don't. This is, it's a, yeah. <laughs> so, this is intelligence HD. That's what oh, it yeah. is. <laughs> so we were saying. So, so getting back to the topic now that I've lost track of my train of thought again, <laughs> we're going to get this off of the ground and running eventually, Cheryl. <laughs> so so anyway. let me bring you back. So you said okay. a tactic is like giving a freebie, showing up on a webinar, uh, you know, some like one thing, one piece of probably your strategy. Strategy is an ongoing plan that has pieces and legs and beginning, middle, end leading to the final thing that you want people to do with that is that it pretty close to it and then most people love the, to paint their um picture of how their ideal target is going to succeed but and you know and usually focusing in that sort of one and using models for that so anyway i i don't know why i did not have this written out clear and i am so sorry ah there it is marketing strategy i finally found my place i was looking at the banter and the banter was just confusing me oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay so y'all know that we have task scripts because this is why we have task scripts because i get confused very quickly uh anyway um and and if we get off on tangents then i have to be able to and one of us has to be able to bring us back so thank you for bringing so the question to the answer for the marketing strategy okay i'm going to really be clear on how to define this strategy is how we achieve the goal on a more abstract level and how we think out of the box so and tactics are the tests that help you achieve your marketing goal so i think you were close so a tactic is something within a yeah. strategy yeah and it's something that you it's it's the it's the um What's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of like your the um, the action the tasks. pieces, yeah, the, the tasks. Yeah, the tasks that you do, the action that you do. It's the stuff that bring that attracts people to your strategy. That helps you, I guess, is the way. Is so a way tactic maybe could be like the physical action, right. where a strategy is the mental plan. Exactly. There you go. I love that okay. one. We're going to have to add that in there in the script. Remind me to add that later. Right. Uh, yeah, I know. 
you had to stop self and second guessing yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, you told me the first two times, yeah, close. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, he said, yeah, near. Yeah, yeah, and it's and it was very near. I mean, I'm not, and it wasn't in a negative way. It was just more of in a positive way. I always accentuate the positive. So that brings us up. There are different kinds of strat, uh, types of, str of marketing strategies. Okay. There are four different types. Kinds. Four kinds of marketing strategies. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah. There's so, a cause one, the okay. cause marketing that's known for the cause related marketing, which is um, links a company and its services to the issues. Um, oh, and a cause be meaning, meaning something that you care about, not like right. cause and effect, but a cause like a. I, when I first read that, I thought it was cause and effect, but. <laughs> And, and, you know, it probably could be, but right. <laughs> I think they're in this particular case, you know, those pol like a politician, the would say they're, you know, like, yeah, like a foundation, like um, a foundation or a charity that you want to give to or SBCA, like for example, is usually a safe one. Let's save the animals, you know, and from our habitat for humanity or, you know, those are like cause issues. And usually yeah, and they, I always love the animal and environmental ones. Those are too. mine. Those, Those are cute. Mine. They're my favorites. And some of the ones are really cute. And then the relationship marking is where you build, uh, where you win the customer retention and satisfaction in order to enhance your relationships with existing customers to increase the customer lawyer loyalty. Relationship put, marketing. So this is put, to, building relationships. Is this to existing customers? It's well, customer it's not just retention. existing. I don't think it's just existing customers. You're, it's, it's, Building, um, you're building relationships in marketing from the very moment you meet somebody because you're building that know, like, and trust factor, right? And how might somebody do that in marketing? Well, my favorite wait, way. Wait, let me go back to cause. Cause marketing is, of course, if you are linking your cause to your work in some right. way, right? right? Okay. And relationship marketing, when you're trying to build relationship with new or existing customers, how would you market as a relationship marketing? Well, the relationship marketing, how I do it is um, I do use lead generation to and go out and network with people and, sh and connect with them and build a connection. Try to find a, something that you can relate to them with, whether it's related to a pain of a pain point that they're having or a struggle that they're having, whether it's relating to something in their life that you guys might have a common ground in. That's one of the ways of doing it. Um, I like also to use story-based, um, my story-based, uh, strategies that actually is related to relationship marketing um, and that's with my clients and actually that's what I was going to share afterwards but I can jump into that now but basically with the, the story-based pr uh, process that we use to our strategy that we use is we have to paint the picture of the problem that the person is experiencing then we show how to solve the problem we're kind of like detectives in that sense. And then we share the benefits of working with our clients and mention the result that they're going to receive. And then we provide them information on the next step of working with that client and give them a call to clear call to action at the end. So in other words, where do you want, where do you want to send them to, to continue to work with you? <laughs> Simply put. So that's my um, simple story-based marketing um, relationship strategy uh just because you want to be able to build that and build that no like and trust factor and i do it in a story format so i share a story like last week when our the last time we talked i think it was last week remember how i was sharing the example of something of how i worked with a client mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i was giving mm -hmm. you that story that's the kind of story i'm talking about you give a story that's related to a topic of concern with your target audience okay you actually paint that picture for them showing them how it's going to work for them and how it's going to benefit them what the return investment is going to be or what their the results are going to be and then how do you work with them next are you going to share them to get, get them to a webinar are you getting them to a call to action which is i mean i'm sorry if you're getting to a discovery call I mean whatever that is you paint that picture for them and you <clears throat> do it in a story format because let's face it, we're doing a more educational approach today. Like we're sharing detailed information 
and we're still making it fun. But I'm just saying, but at the same time, it's not story based like my one was last week. But that that's why I'm trying to share with you the differences between this is information based and then the last story last week's example was a story based. So that's kind of giving you and that answer. We are wired for stories ever since we were little. We love stories. Yeah. Story Ooh. sale. What can I say? Story. Hey, you had that problem. I had that problem last week with the phone. So, yeah. so far, people are behaving and not calling me during this time. So anyway, <laughs> um, but the scarcity marketing is another one. This is when you create a perception, creating that fear factor. Not related to this to show, by the way, but the fear factor that they might not be able to get it in the future. So you scare them into buying it from you now. Hmm. Biggest ploy ever had happen it works sometimes it doesn't always work all the time so we have to use it sparingly is my suggestion just saying my two cents they can do it i mean i've seen it work for the and, and people ask me well why isn't my method working and i'm real like i could tell you why <laughs> you're using that scarcity mentality or the negative approach you got to use it in a positive way and i always try to put things in the positive spin how would you use a lack a scarcity marketing in the positive. Okay. Good question. Um, and, and that's that's a good that's a good point. So here here's my suggestion. <clears throat> Most people sit there and say, "Well, if you don't order this now, it's not going to be available to you, you know, after the timer runs out," kind of thing. And that's one option right, that people use for a scarcity mentality, or it's for a limited time. I says, instead of using the negative wording to say, it would be a, this would be a great value to take advantage of now versus waiting later. Does that make sense? So it's more of me. Taking advantage of something, putting a positive words in instead of using the negative words. Because the negative words are you're taking away from your audience, right? Well, would it be something like if you purchase now before the end of this webinar, you also get these bonuses exactly. and you get the reduced, uh, you know, the $100 off. Right. That, that's coupon. a very good example. No, that's a perfect example. So that's like um, adding, not adding taking value. Away. Exactly. And, uh, and making it a very, uh, like, a, you know, an irresistible, irresistible, offer. irresistible offer. Yeah. Using the irresistible approach is a much more positive outcome than, than using the negative scarcity tactic. Um, in fact, I had to soften a client uh, using the irresistible offer by, oh, if you buy this now, you get to have a free ticket to my webinar next month or whatever it is that she's planning on doing it for so that so your example fit perfectly in that one as well so yeah that was a perfect example so i think you got the grasp of that and hopefully everyone else yes. does too so um the next one is the undercover marking i feel like i'm going as a detective right now when i say it like this but that basically <laughs> and i don't know about you i feel it does use sound, this word undercover it sounds I, like i it. feel like i need to get out my spy glasses or something it must have something to do with that i think so so basically this involves with marketing to customers in a way that they're not aware that they're even being marketed to it's very subtle is what they mean <laughs> some people like to put big words but so, simply put it's a that? very subtle thing um that's intriguing, but I can't think of. I'm trying to think of a good example that I've seen. Marketing think of all those me. ads. See, remember all those ads that you see constantly out there? I mean, whether it's on social media ads, whether it's out there on the internet, whether it's out there in commercials and TV ads and newspapers and various uh, magazines. What is it, you know, I'm trying to think of, I don't get very many good examples. This one's not as used. Oh, as here's often. one. Here, How about this? An, an influencer. An influencer yeah. who is somebody you're watching on YouTube or TV or Facebook or Instagram, and they're just, you know, they're talking. There might be somebody that you follow and they're using a product. They're using a product and saying how great it is. They're not pushing it. They're just saying, I use it and it's terrific. You don't feel like you're being marketed to, yeah. but the product who's 
paid this influencer to use their product is marketing. Exactly. They're marketing. And they're just sharing how it affects them exactly. And that's or part of it. your yeah. swag. Yeah. The swag that's coming with your name on it. Yep. We're not pushing you to buy it, but we're encouraging we're just gonna show off some swag. We're actually gonna be giving away But if somebody's two. using the swag, mm -hmm. that's marketing. Mm -hmm. I'm holding up a fake cup with writing on it. <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see what I see? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> This is why Cheryl and I get along so well because she and I are like visual okay, people. here's a real cup. It's a real cup, and it'll say marketing mindset mastery. There you go. <laughs> and if somebody's using it, you know, let's say I'm on the show and I'm just holding it up, you know, it, it it's a little advertisement. Okay, so here's a question for you: Which one would you prefer to get, a T-shirt or a mug? That was one oh. of my questions I was asking. Think about it and let me know at the end of the show. What's the t-shirt look like? I'll have to show it to you afterwards. We may have to go on a I think a mug call. because that'll be fun to hold up on the show. Yeah, that would be good too. Because it's hard for us to see the t-shirts with the way we're positioned on the show. I love t-shirts. I may have to buy one and get one the, as a gift. Yeah, cute one. <laughs> buy, Cheryl, buy Cheryl a t-shirt when the swag comes out, people. <laughs> I medium. Well, the good yeah. thing about this bag, Cheryl, is that it's going to help us help us um, keep this show up and running. That's what it's going to do. It's going to help us keep us keep our show up and running. And then marketing good. mastery to camp. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to be having a, a, something different for that. So anyway, and then, well, anyway, but uh, that's that's a that's an undercover kind of marketing info, uh, strategy and they all work for different reasons but uh, I really am encouraging people to stay away from the scarcity and mortality and if you do do it like in a positive way that Cheryl painted for us because oh my gosh it's just if you put a positive spin you're going to get a lot better results I'm just letting you know from Marga from the experience that we have been seeing with our clients so just letting you know so we already got over that so there is one more question I think we have on there before we go to commercial break you want to ask me uh, what that is or should I oh, go ahead I'm and dive sorry. into it let me see um, right before the red line <laughs> you mean What's your favorite marketing tactics that you use in your agency? Is that the Correct. question? Yeah, you got it. Marie, <laughs> I Marie use a what are your favorite marketing tactics that you use in your agents, agency, Liberty Virtual Solutions? Um, I use the podcast that we're doing now as one of them. I've been getting a lot of interest in people wanting to come speak on our show. So we're going to be looking for some more speakers soon. And um, that's something separate from this. Right? That's something that... It's marketing mindset. Okay, uh, let me go into that, and then I'll share that information. So, yeah, podcast, so podcast so actually is po the podcast is this show. So, this podcast is, is marketing mindset. Some people refer to it as a marketing podcast, some because they're more familiar with that term, um, and some people refer to it as uh, like we refer to it as the tv show it's also on the radio so it's a radio tv talk show um but it's really the same thing um but some people are more used to hearing the word podcast so that's what i use in my marketing because i want to relate to my audience and what they are used to hearing so if i ask them i sit there and say are you wanting to listen to my podcast they're like yeah sure i love listening to that while i exercise literally happened to me this week when i sent that to someone well they exercise i love they that. actually exercise so that's actually right. cool. i need to get up and do more exercise myself but that's okay it's a different stuff well, for another day let's not but, even talk about that no, shall we, we not get, it was passed <laughs> moving on so the first thing is is the podcast or the marketing mindset mastery radio show uh which is the tv and the radio so um that's one of them because that's my biggest marketing the next one's virtual events and networking events oh my gosh I can walk away between eight and 25 connections in leads for my business in like an hour. And that's so much easier to go to the one to the many approach rather than individual approaches. So much quicker. And two of my clients have come from two different networking events just in January and February alone. So it works. I've been doing it since December and loving it. Um, and then I'm a social butterfly. So that helps. Anyway. You don't have to be. You can be introverted and still do it. Now, you do have I'm to make sure. I'm more of a social dragonfly. 
Damselfly actually is what the female is called, the damselfly. Oh, I didn't know that. A that was sparkly cool. copper colored damselfly. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, but it's, I like the imagery, and that's perfectly Isn't suited. Isn't it perfect? For you. It's great. Perfectly suited for you. We'll yes. have to do something marketing with that, with the dragon, <laughs> dragon female dragonfly. There you go. I, I don't think I'll even try to pronounce it. But anyway, <laughs> Rebel's probably laughing your head off of the background right now. But anyway, the next one is lead generation through social media. I had walked away with. 650 discovery calls and about 10 plus clients in August alone and it's 65 and at least 10 client potential clients in in July and September alone and oh my gosh my business took off so that's one way of doing it so if you have a proper process to do that with it is really explosive the last thing I do really for my marketing is newsletters and blog posts and just constantly um keeping up with my um, emailing my list and sharing to my community um, in my on my social media communities. So those are my favorite top four favorites. And um, Cheryl, you're going to ask she share those with us on the next segment because we got actually got a commercial break. And I almost All right. We've been so chatty today that we Okay. We Very so good. Would, would you like to take us to, to commercial break? Uh, let me find out. Oh, before we do, I before thank we you are for sharing your valuable information and tips, Marie, yeah. for our audience to grow their business on the Marketing Mindset Mastery Radio Show. Our topic today, in case you were not listening, is five types of marketing tactics and strategies. And that ends this segment of our show. You're listening to the Marketing Mindset Mastery Radio Show with your host, Marie Mason. I hope I'm it's turning out to be in the right direction. And I'm your co-host, Cheryl Bernstein. And we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. We're going to a commercial break right now. We're taking a short break and we'll be right back. You're listening to Marketing Mindset Mastery, the show that brings you the top speakers in the marketing and video industry with your host, Marie Mason. The show is brought to you by Liberty Virtual Solutions. We work with business coaches and speakers to help them market and host their webinars and upsell their coaching programs and develop heart-centered relationships with their audience. Welcome back to the Marketing Mindset Mastery Show with your host, Marie Mason, a premier podcast that helps you master your marketing skills. Hey, I wanted to ask you, Marie, who was that voice that did that announcing on that? That was you. <laughs> you didn't recognize it? That's marketing without even knowing you're marketing. <laughs> That's that, the detective Tactic one, I number keep telling you. Four. Yeah, I call it the detective one because I can never remember what they are in order. But that's, um, let me go the back. Detective. The, un the undercover marketing. The, the undercover. <laughs> that would be fun to have little little people that represent each one. The cause would be like somebody holding a little doggy. And relationship would be, I guess, somebody going like that. Um, what's the next one? Okay. Um, the next one is, we're going to talk about you in a minute, but apparently someone had a question. What's the difference between an oh. infomercial and a marketing podcast? So we'll answer that. Then we'll jump into having you share some stuff. So, Oh, well, an infomercial would, is all about the thing. I mean, there's no bones about it. It's all about the, the product. Podcast is more information-based about sort of in general – there's no like blatant buy this thing. You know, it's the difference between um, QVC and uh, I don't know, a little news show. Right? Perfect. Right, no, right. I, I'll go with that because I'm not as familiar with infomercials. I was hoping you would know. <laughs> You're not familiar with infomercials? Don't you no. must not watch late night TV? No idea. Well, I don't have time to watch late night TV. I'm too busy doing client work until two in the morning, <clears throat> literally. So, <clears throat> welcome back to the Minds and Mastery Radio Show. Talk show. I'm still trying to find the number three. Oh, cause marketing, relationship marketing, scarcity marketing That's would it. be a picture of somebody. You know, like ah, the scream. 
that painting, minute, Edward yeah. Moore, Scream. Yeah. And undercover marketing could be a little detective. Female, mm-hmm. little female. Yeah. yeah, or male, either one. But yeah, female. Well, I'll go with that. Um, but anyway, pictures, pictures, let's, pictures. Let's get rolling here because <laughs> so we, we don't want to. Like, we could we can ad lib all day long and hopefully we'll. We People want to know anybody. information. Let's go. They do. They do. They do want to know information, hopefully. Uh, anyway, so that's what we're here to give them. So we are basically. Marie Mason and Cheryl Bernstein, and we're the speakers for the next segment. In fact, Cheryl's got a background that most of you may or may not remember, but um, she has a, oh my gosh. What is my bet? Where I don't, I don't know, familiar. but I have a wrong, I've had the wrong thing. In a preschool teacher in a home daycare. <laughs> that was me. That was oh, me. Oh, that's you. We didn't give you your... We never did. did shit. I have a background in, in that. Oh my gosh! I really did this me? on the fly today. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I'll just say what my back. My you background. Share it? We'll is, share your background. Um, well, I started in radio, a little tiny radio station called WJJL in Niagara Falls, New York, Daytimer. So I was a DJ. I did the news. I wrote commercials. I, I did everything. And then I moved up to a bigger station and then moved to LA. And my background's been in showbiz as a performer, an actress, a voiceover actress doing commercials and um, did stand up comedy. Wow. A couple parts in films, a bunch of TV shows, fun stuff. I also did warm ups. For sitcoms, that's like when they would take a break to reset a scene or whatever. This is, you know, when live in the studio. And I would keep the studio audience up and energized by being funny and doing games and stuff. Um, And uh, I also am a coach in the Law of Attraction and wasn't too huge masterminds about being an entrepreneur. So I have showbiz, I have Law of Attraction, I have entrepreneurship and marketing all kind of come together together to do this and my radio work radio work was all about writing uh writing and producing commercials which was marketing which was no wonder you know infomercials so well (laughs) oh that's right that's right i guess we pay attention to the stuff that that we do you know yes exactly no that's that's my background and you've done vo- Disney voices for Disney. I yeah. have done in my voiceover career. I did voices for all kinds of things, Doug. Disney cartoons. I was um, Aquata, Ariel's older sister in in The Little Mermaid. I was the smart one. Oh, Ariel. And I played uh, a little pony in My Little Pony. My name was Buttons. And Buttons was very cute. <laughs> and I've played all kinds of, a lot of characters that were kind of very large. One of them was Isis in Darkwing Duck. She lived in the ice and she looked like a big duck. <laughs> and uh, Broadcast Sally was in um, Tailspin. Some of you might have remembered the Tailspin cartoons. And she was a big hippo with a beautiful voice. <laughs> and uh, just all kinds of fun, 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 fun stuff. The housekeeper on Teen Wolf when it was a cartoon. I had a blast. My, I, I had bet. a blast. Blast, blast, blast. No, I can imagine. No, one thing about acting and and doing all those wonderful, um, ex- going through those like, wonderful experiences. Oh, my gosh. I can only imagine how much fun you had. And yeah, how many was. people you probably met along the way. So, yeah. Which it was might all be a about, topic for another day. Okay. That's the other thing. It was all about the people that I worked with, as well as the work itself, which is very similar to being an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. The journey is made more fun by the people you go along with, whether it's associates that you work with, the clients you work with, the clients maybe that you don't work with, but you speak to. That's what makes it all a joy. That's what makes it, for me anyway, that's that's what lights me I I love I love coming on to the show every week. It's something I look forward to, even though I was rushed getting it off the ground this week. You know, that happens to all the best of us. But, but uh, yeah, we did it. And, and did it. we have fun every week working together. I love working with Rebel, who's our radio tech and producer. She's fantastic. She I like working with Dean. Happen behind I us. love working with Dean Piper, who's the owner of the radio station. The four the four of us make a fantastic team. And it's I call them call us the dream team. So there you go. The dream team. The dream team. There you go. I'm sure they're gonna get a kick out of that one. But anyway, long story short, let's go and roll into the second part of it, which is okay. talking about 
the tactics. And I think that's where I think, because I shine on the strategies. I'm a your strategy gal, but you shine with the marketing tactics. That's why I thought you might want to be able to share some of that with us. So we did define what a marketing tactic was last segment. And um, did you want to say that again? Yeah, let's uh, re re refresh your memory. Yes. So we talked about the strategy. Strategy is kind of the the mind part of creating how you're going to market and tactics are the tasks, the actions to help you achieve your marketing goal through your strategy. Hopefully you have a strategy. <laughs> so now we can help you with that. So, right. <laughs> and so, so the next uh, part is what's the purpose of a marketing strategy? A marketing tactic. Sorry, tactic. I'm tactic. so stuck on the word strategy. <laughs> now. Yep. Well, first you need to have a very clear purpose for your marketing tactic. You want to know why you're doing it, who you're doing it for, where do you want to lead them, all those things that when you become an entrepreneur, you learn that these are things that are very important because you want to focus your marketing on the person that you want to attract. To focus your marketing on everybody doesn't work because you don't want a whole bunch of people that don't have any interest in what you do flocking onto your list or getting your freebie. The chance there might be a chance they like it, but you really want to you really want to be clear. So, here are three examples of marketing tactics that you can use. Three examples. One is content. That's what you're talking about. Another is video, that's being on video. And a third is social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, in, uh, LinkedIn, all those things. And through all of these, the content, video, social media, you'll be able to share your knowledge with your audience. Uh, video marketing and interviews and be doing your own um, podcasts, podcasts and content. And Workshops. Just, um, Facebook uh, challenges, all those are video related, right? Oh, right. And they're, they uh, will draw an organic reach to your website, to your social media pages. And uh, social media is a great way to share information and engage with your audience as well. And also show both sides of you, not just business, but show you. Right. Often showing you in your life is a great marketing tactic. Because people will relate to you or they'll love you for how you live, for who you are, as well as your knowledge of, of what you do. Exactly. So each marketing strategy has a different purpose when it comes to growing your business. And uh, what you want to do is define marketing strategy, which one is right. You want to define which marketing tactic is right for your marketing goals. Is that right? Did I Perfect. say that? You got it right. You <laughs> nailed it, girl. Hey, I, if I were going to think that you needed some help, I would have pitched in. So yeah, okay. just roll with it if I don't. Okay. So the next question, which brings up to my, my mind here, is that there's some popular marketing tactics that will help increase your visibility on, in your business and help you stand out of the noise. Now, I listed some on there, and you could pick whichever ones you feel like you want to roll with as far as talking about to save time. Um, I tried to shorten it and simplify it for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really giving away our secrets here today. So, um, But they've known that we have a script because it helps keep us on track. So long story short. We have a script. It is good because it helps keep us on track, you know, and it helps Rebel know what to when to go to those commercial breaks. And oh gosh, makes life so much smoother for me and Cheryl as well. So um, really quickly, there is a few popular marketing tactics that are out there today. And I want you to, if you just touch on them and highlight them, and then I'm going to ask you to share which of your favorite marketing strategies and marketing tactics that you use for your business. Okay. So those are the those are the three next questions in the nutshell. <laughs> so. Okay. Roll with it. Well, um, here are some of the very popular ones that most people use. Blog posts or newsletters, that's your emails. Uh, videos, and that is, uh, as Marie said, all kinds of video. It's you showing up on camera anywhere. Could be even be in a group that you're in, but you're on Zoom and that's your opportunity to show who you are. Uh, Ebooks or workbooks. They can use, be used to solve problems for your audience or to bring up ideas for them or help them get to a next step 
and social media posts. Of course, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn. There's so many. I probably left the, the, oh, now Clubhouse. Well, Clubhouse is not social media post. Clubhouse no. is a different thing. But yeah, all but of there's these. There's so are many ways. platforms out so there. Many. It's too many. So you many. just have to go and look and find out where. And there's another thing I want to ask you. With the, and something that people usually ask me too. Um, social media posts, social media is great. And they always say, so where do I find my peeps? What platforms are they on? So I guess we could kind of discuss that if we have time. Well, that's we, difficult to know. We might have to do that in a separate show. That is a difficult thing to know. Where are they? Yeah. It's difficult. But I do think that if you've only got a limited amount of time and a limited amount of bandwidth, you pick one, maybe two. Don't try right. to do everything unless you hire somebody who's going to cover that for you. Or, you find can a, or find a social uh, social media AI platform uh, software that can handle it too. They're, they're out there now. I have a couple that are really good. So, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And um, they do the work for you. <laughs> very cool. No well, my favorites and the things that I do most are my emails. I guess you could call that a newsletter or email. Uh, video. Love to do video for me. And I think you can think of it this way, too. It's your own show. You can mm -hmm. make your own little show wherever you go. And uh, ebooks and workbooks. I love to create those things. And I do those in Canva. I make everything in Canva. Ebooks, workbooks. I love to create little workbooks that go with any course that I'm doing. It helps people stay on track and helps me too to deliver the, the material. So those are my, my three faves. I also do, um, for me, my social media is Facebook. I know they say that's like the old one. <laughs> that's the old people's. <laughs> I don't care. I don't think, I think I it's ageless. I once saw a sitcom where they were saying, help me post on Facebook. And the other guy said, what are you, 60? <laughs> I don't think so, though. A lot of people are on Facebook and you can have your personal page. You can have your biz page or you can also call it a fan page. Um, but you know what I want to try? Because I saw a friend do it and she said, it is a riot is TikTok. Oh. TikTok could be another way of. I think that would be undercover marketing in a way because you don't really market, but people get to know you and then you can lead them to like a link tree or a link to something. I want to try TikTok only because I love to do stuff that's fun and it looks like yeah. a hoot. Yeah. And that is really, a, it seemed like it was a young person's thing, but now we're all come, we're coming in. We're yeah. coming in. See, the young people, mm -hmm. the young people mm -hmm. started on Facebook. Okay. And then us older people, and I'm saying that politely, older people well, we uh, are. have picked up and picked up on Facebook and now we're taking off and, and making that our thing. But it doesn't matter. I think social media really is ageless. I think as far it as is. I'm concerned. It is. Anybody it, can do anything. Young, yeah, literally. I mean, there's kids that are younger than 18 that are on there that maybe shouldn't be on there, but that's my just opinion. But, you know, like I said, there are a bunch of different things that, uh, far, far, sorry, I shouldn't say things. There are a bunch of different ages that are connected to social media. So I think really social media is just ageless in general. And that's a good the, thing. Uh, you are absolutely right. I think it is ageless. But here's the other thing. There's a lot to it. You got to make a banner and there's ways of, you know, like telling people to like and subscribe and some can, you can put a video in your banner and there's, there's like tactics and strategies to social media, to Facebook itself. I don't propose to be an expert in that. There are people that know that stuff and you might want to find one of them and help you. Uh, but there are tactics and strategies to almost every piece of your marketing plan of, of your business, I would That's say. true. And, and here's something that people need to write, need to be understanding. If you do just one of it, like if you do just the, um, 
marketing, if you do the marketing strategies and you, you're going to get some, you're going to end up procrastinating on whatever you're trying to do if you're, cause you're just thinking and planning and preparing, right? But you're not actually taking action. When you actually do the marketing tactics, you're taking action to get the, the results you need. You have to do, but if you do just the tactics, you're going to be throwing mud up against the wall and getting frustrated. My strong suggestion is to pull the both of them together and find what works for you. And Cheryl's right about one thing when you, and many things, but this particular thing in particular, I'm just going to clarify because I don't want to sit there. <laughs> I just want to clarify. But uh, she, she actually said a good point. Um, you got to pick the right social media app for you. Well, the same thing goes for the strategy and the tactics, because whatever is working in your business industry is what and what works for you personally is going to be great. But somebody like me could do virtual events and do like a great job, like virtual events, be networking groups. Other people who are not so social may prefer to do the blog posts, new blog, newsletters and freebies. And, and it's there off and go into social media groups because maybe th they can do it, but more behind the scenes. So whatever's in your comfort level and whatever you feel like you could do, but whatever you choose to do with for your marketing strategy and your marketing tactic, they go together. Make sure that you do it consistently. Wouldn't you agree, Cheryl? Consistency is key because people do like to know that you are there. And, you know, sometimes here's here's a little tip. You could be sending out emails and your people on your list may not be opening them all the time because not everybody opens everything. It's just the way it is. But they see you coming through. They'll see your name. They'll see that you're doing something. You're active. You're in business. You're happening. And that is almost an undercover strategy right there. There you go. Tactic. Strategy. Yeah. Tactic. Strat strategy. 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 That's I mean, strategy. The undercover <laughs> dog. Because <laughs> haven't you seen, Marie, you've seen somebody's email yeah. come through and you may not be able to read it right then and it goes by and that's just the way it is. But and you it see pops it. back up. Yeah. But you mm -hmm. see their name and that goes It's like in. planting a seed in a garden. Before, you know, it's, it's that seed. It's and once you seed. plant that seed, little seed, and you keep planting those seeds, it's going to eventually sprout. And when it sprouts, you're going to get results. And those results are you getting clients in your business or customers to your store. That's what that's all about. So those marketing strategies and tactics are your seeds. And don't but here's forget the other to water thing. them. Yes, yeah, you want to water them, you want to nurture them, you want to yeah. take care of, give them the, two more minutes. Need, the water. But here's the other thing. You want to have something at the end there to, to offer. Yes, <laughs> which by the way, <laughs> speaking of perfect lead, we both have offers. So why don't you go oh, with your do. offer? Yeah, you have an offer and then so do I. So you go ahead I and do. I have your offer. Uh, Rebel was nice enough to put both on our little ticker tape below. Thank you, Rebel. Um, one is my uh, freebie flow. It's all those pieces. Oh, here it is. Uh, Cheryl Bernstein.com fab freebie. It's all the pieces that you need to go from freebie to new client. And it's, it's a beautiful little infographic I made for you. And on the third page are the tools and uh, things that I use that I love where you can create your business for not a whole bunch of money. Some of them are free, some are very low cost. And my other is my uh, 10 things to know before you video. It's 10 little videos and tips that you should know, CherylBernstein.com slash light star. And you see it on the ticker below. Ticker Perfect. Below, this way, ticker below. That's awesome. And, and what do you have, Marie? I have a great one for you guys. You guys can work on your marketing strategies with me for your podcast webinars and, and workshops or even Facebook groups, uh, Facebook live groups uh, for challenges. I'm sorry. There are, there. I, can, I cannot speak today. I've been so tongue tied all week. I apologize, folks. Uh, but anyway, and rebels on cue, but definitely schedule a 30 minute free consultation with me for, um, and being able to see how fast we can work together um, to achieve your goal, marketing goals for your virtual events, whether they be webinars, podcasts, Facebook groups, lives, uh, challenges, or workshops. Those are what I was trying to say earlier, and I think I finally got it out of my system. And uh, you go to www.candley.com forward slash Marie 
V as in Victor Mason. And that is my calendar link. And we will see you all next, next time. And Cheryl, you want to close us out? I will. And I just want to say Rebel told me point this way to point to you, which is <laughs> not what I see. So yeah, we the opposite uh, in the mirror. <laughs> join us again uh, next week. We're going to have more guest speakers on our show, providing more tips on how to set up your business for success. And that ends this segment of our show. Until next time, this is uh, your host, your host, Marie Great. Mason of Marketing Mindset Mastery. And I am Cheryl Bernstein. Co-host. And we are saying bye for now from Marketing Mindset Mastery. And we'll see you next time. Love you all next. See you next week. Go to our radio page and check out the gifts from our speakers. We'll see you next time on Marketing Mindset Mastery with your host, Marie Mason.